Hi, it's Joseph, and welcome back to the San Miguel de Allende Secrets channel on YouTube. Again, if you need more information, simply look in the descriptive box below for various links, including one that will take you to Amazon if you wish to purchase any of the 10 books in the best-selling book series, San Miguel de Allende Secrets. And today, we're going to talk about boomers on the fun side of the wall. I've always liked being at the tail end of the baby boomer gener generation. Loosely defined, to be a baby boomer means that your father came back from World War II and, with your mother's help, made you and you were part of a groundswell in the youth population. Being at the end meant that when I hit an age when I needed certain things, be it hair color, blood pressure medicine, or a vacation home, a lot of the kinks had already been worked out. In December of last year, 500 expats from all over Mexico were surveyed on why as many as 10,000 baby boomers moved to Mexico in retirement daily before the virus. Much of the survey's findings went into the book The Fun Side of the Wall by Travis Luther, and I thought it was interesting to compare and contrast how much of the survey's findings apply to San Miguel de Allende's expats. Survey says on money and culture, not surprisingly, saving money attracts most baby boomer expats. But once they get to Mexico, they find it's culture that keeps them here. Basically, they trade the grind of an extended career into a better lifestyle centered around Mexican culture. San Miguel says, or amongst the, here in San Miguel, amongst the expats, I don't find that to be true. If you've just arrived to save money, you'll be disappointed. We are an expensive Mexican city. It's like if I told you New York was the absolutely cheapest state to retire in, so you moved to Manhattan one of the most expensive cities in the world, when what, the, what I meant was either Albany or White Plains. As for the appeal to Mexican culture to baby boomers here in San Miguel de Allende, I rarely find a fellow pasty person at our cultural events. An exception being the occasional free public dancing in Centro, but by and large, resident expats simply don't appear to have much interest in what is going on around them, and often they take an odd pride in not knowing. Survey says on the typical expat profile. According to the book, the profile of the typical boomer expat in Mexico is a married person in their late 50s. Highly educated, upper income, liberal leaning, democratic voting Caucasian, who values a slower pace of life and are shown respect. Boomers do not believe that Americans respect older people, but found the exact reverse in the culture of Mexico. Plus, some boomers are semi-retired and still working remotely thanks to generally solid internet. But those who have completely retired were able to fulfill their dream on average five years earlier than those retiring in the United States. San Miguel says, Here in San Miguel, that profile is partially true. I find part-time residents tend to be the more educated and higher earners than many residents on government pensions from a lifetime spent in the classroom or the post office versus the boardroom or a corner office. There's also a fair amount of starving artists who come to town feeling the artistic vibe would provide the opportunity to sell their autobiography, paintings, jewelry, or quilts. Simply put, that doesn't always pan out. Few are as talented in their senior years as Grandma Moses. Survey says on safety, personal safety issues impacted retirement in Mexico. The number one consensus was 90% of boomers felt safe and protected from terrorism more so than in the U.S. San Miguel expats say, honestly, I never thought about this as being a terrorist attack. I never thought of myself, I mean, in a terrorist attack anywhere in the world. So I haven't had that discussion with fellow expats here. I'm surprised the survey didn't approach safety more from a local level like home theft or muggings and such. Survey says, on all the single ladies, my most ex unexpected finding was the rate of single women, baby boomer retirees moving to Mexico on their own. The data shows that women are almost twice as likely as men to arrive in Mexico single, and there are actually more single women than married couples. San Miguel says, I can see that. Here or most anywhere in the world, women live longer and are often more comfortable living alone than men are. It reminded me of the uh, cemetery tour one day with a group of senior women when alas asked, where are all the single men in town? And all I could think to say was, well, you're standing on them. Assuming in general women date 10 years older than themselves, it's hard to find a man that has lived beyond 70, is healthy, interested, much less interesting, 
and single. Survey says on other country options, one of the most interesting findings in the survey was the lack of boomer interest in other countries as places to retire. Proximity to the U.S. combined with less expensive health care, good internet connectivity, and relatively ease in getting a visa were major factors. San Miguel says, for here, San Miguel de Allende's baby boomers, I would also factor in the weather. Not for me personally, as coming from a long line of intermarrying Gaelic vampires that never left the village looking for love, I despise these endlessly sunny days. However, other boomers seem to thrive in the sun. So, are boomers in Mexico, I'm sorry, boomers in San Miguel de Allende like expats all over Mexico? Yes and no. Money motivates most, but that is, that's your prime motivation. There are much less costly areas of Mexico. It appears in other areas, boomers are much more proactive, participating in local culture than we do here. It's a pity because we team with cultural opportunities. However, we're on the news for having more single women than men. All things considered, I plan on staying put, at least until the millennials retire and Lord only knows what they'll be into then. As always, feel free to click like and subscribe and you'll be notified as new videos as they come out here on the San Miguel de Allende Secrets YouTube channel.